Hey, how's it going? Adrian Davila here with another really quick tutorial on how to use the tracking feature in After Effects. And I'm also going to show you how to key out uh, some green screen. So let's get started. I have this shot, a tracking shot. <clears throat> the camera's moving from side to side as the girl walks out and plays. Obviously, that is a set. So what we want to do is replace this background with a city. So we'll start by throwing our background, which is an image of a random city that I found just for the heck of the tutorial. And I'm going to go ahead and use key light and apply it to my clip. Use a color picker and just pick the green screen. And now it's keyed our green screen. If we scrub through the video, it looks completely fake because the background is not moving what like with the cameras moving so what we're gonna do is use a tracking motion so hit track motion and then we're gonna move our tracking point to one of our markers over here so that's good and then we're gonna hit this button analyze forward and as you can tell it's adding a new keyframe on each frame and analyzing that motion. Eventually what we're going to do is ap apply all these keyframes to our background. That way it'll be more realistic. So we'll do a couple of more frames. And that should be good. So we'll stop. We'll highlight our background, hit apply, apply the mentions X and Y, hit OK. And now if we scroll through our video, you can see that the background is moving with it. And it looks way more realistic. Now what I want to do is resize my background and make sure I get it where I want it to be. So I'm going to highlight all of my position keyframes, resize it and move it where I want it. So that's good right there. You gotta make sure you highlight all of your keyframes or else it would only do it to one frame. Next thing we have to do is get rid of these markers. So I'm gonna apply a mask to our, to our video. And I'll just do one big one. That's good. And what I have to do is invert this mask. There it is. And since the camera's moving, it's going to be cutting off our set. We don't want that. So we got to add some keyframes to our mask so it doesn't cut anything off. So we'll go to we'll go to the first frame, mask path, add a keyframe there. And we'll go a couple of frames forward and all we're going to do is just move our mask and move this side and this point I could have just tried the whole thing but this works also and fix this and there it is that is it ladies and gentlemen let me go change my resolution so you can see so that looks way more realistic than just having it playing without the background moving. And that is it. That's how you track motion in After Effects. It's fairly simple. I hope this was helpful to you. Email me if you have any questions. Um, and do not hesitate to watch my other videos. If you have any questions regarding my other videos, do not hesitate to email me. Thanks for watching, guys.